you've been here since one o'clock, you've demonstrated extraordinary patience and maybe one of the qualities we need for the new survival model for the uh, survival of the species. And so I have two dialogues going on in this uh, uh, presentation I'm doing. One is that uh, art is the endangered species. We've got a brutalist and predator, unthinking um, uh, source of energy that wants to, you know, sell the Rose Art Museum bring this place to a point of extinction. And a lot of this evolutionary model that we're in right now is the competition for resources. So uh, my, my project that I'm doing right now is called Health of the Planet. And the idea is that there is um, um, a theory, it's not very uh, sophisticated, it's pretty obvious, that we need a certain amount of CO2 oxygen, oxygen exchange. And that takes place in the forests around the world and one of them being the Amazon and the Atlantic Rainforest in Brazil. And normally when you do a medical checkup of the body, you take x-rays of the lungs. So what I'm doing is taking x-rays of Amazon plants. I'm gonna show a few of these here briefly. And the, again, you know, just like we have a competition for resources in Brandeis, we've got a competition of resources. And in Brazil, this kind of chaotic competition for resources is an image that I'm using is the chaotic use of electricity in the favela, which is the slums of Rio, where everybody is stealing electricity or just grabbing, you know, the resources that they need for their survival. And these electrical lines, which I are, are as much as ambience as they are as, you know, fine drawings. Um, that uh, this is sort of the symbol of this sort of same competition for resources. So, the, what I wanted to do was actually bring fine art into the museum because since this is a place that's a challenge, just like the rainforest and just like, uh, you know, every forest around the world, uh, this is sort of a location where uh, a lot of dialogue is taking place on what do we do for our survival. And the, a lot of artists have worked with uh, artists we've seen uh, in this lecture today. And as Mark pointed out, one of the things that art does is it, it has this amazing ability to make you change your perspective. And the, I should have brought up the slide, but I didn't think about it until now. Uh, the painting that best embodies that for me is a painting by uh, Velasquez it's called Las Meninas, which most of you that know about art will know. It's the king and queen. They're, coming into uh, a salon where their daughter is being pricked and uh, being actually presented in a painting to a potential suitor because there was no male heir at the time. And it got returned into, a, a repainted over when there was a male heir and uh, all of a sudden Velasquez puts himself into the painting. He's got a, a medal on him and he's part of some you know, higher nobility that he wanted to aspire to. And everybody turns around in a moment of shock, and uh, they're looking out at you. And the viewer becomes in the position outside the painting, in the position of the king and queen that are coming in and disturbing the scene. So this notion that the relationship between viewer and object can be, uh, you know, radically shifted. So instead of this Renaissance proscenium, it's interesting because somebody else here talked to today about, um, I believe, Foucault, and this is the first chapter of the book, The Order of Things, and The Order of Things is this sort of notion of looking at the history of uh, classification in science, and, and I think there was a talk about David that other later, you know, you start out with this physical classification, and then you get into what's underneath. So, art in its best does both. It, it entertains, it's great looking, it shifts the perspective, and it asks questions. So finally, I bring some art, and this talk is, this is it, it's done. And I'm just gonna show some work. If you wanna stick around and look at it, that'll be great. Um, this body of work has to do with botany and the rainforest. So let's just take a quick look. And this is a, I put these here just to help with this. So what I've been doing is I've been going to uh, Brazil. This project started because I was confronted with uh, a personal experience with the rainforest. I saw how utterly amazing it was, and I wondered what these things looked like. And I thought, okay, let's take an X-ray. And you'll just you'll have to get out of your seats. We're at the casual part of it. If you want to look at these, 
and I started taking x-rays of these plants. And the theory is, is that, you know, through this process as a viewer, you'll get some notion of the beauty, the gradually, and also the sadness of something that may be soon to be lost. So what I do is I go to uh, a market in Sao Paulo. You gotta go to where the, where the uh, hospital is. And um, uh, it took three years to find a hospital in Sao Paulo to let me work there. I worked there for a week, brought the plants to the, uh, the hospital. And then started taking x-rays. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. I, 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 I selected. I had a, a, a biologist, a botanist, come with me, and we just sort of tried to find things that were, you know, Amazon plants. I did whatever we didn't, unfortunately, destroy in the process of taking the X-rays. And you know, a lot of times we had to shape them. Oh, I see. So you were using the hospital equipment too. Yeah, we we're using really good, high quality digital x-ray equipment to come up with a file, electronic file. And then I'm taking these files, adjusting them in Photoshop. So did you explain a little bit of what, what you're trying to make this This is a, a, the petals at the top are enclosing the skin and you're getting through to the stuff that you're doing, trying to get through. Well, you, you, you know, you're getting chest x-ray, basically. You're, you're, I'm really just trying to foreground the idea that, you know, my dialogue in my own particular work has always been looking at technological vocabulary. So I love the visual vocabulary of technology, just like video game. You know, this, there, we have these new technologies that let us look at the world in a different kind of way. And the beauty of this technology is that it can also create these incredible metaphors. And um, the idea that through technology you can give the world a medical checkup looks like something really interesting to me. So that, that's really, it's about the metaphor.